right, what, what are we going to talk about next? Somebody pick a topic. I don't know. So, I think, is there anybody in the um, studio audience that has a topic here? I actually got to be wrapping up. No, they're all on the they're all on the phones. Oh, Dave Pater said a <laughs> matrix, if you will. Oh, a matrix. A matrix, if you will. Well, yeah, all of perception is is it's basically the matrix. Perception is reality, so that makes sense. Basically, the yeah. matrix it is literally is. the it matrix literally. is your mind. Perception is the the prequel to Inception. Oh yeah, mm. that's right. I didn't understand except did anybody get that movie Inception? Or it's like did you try to follow it logically or you're like, you know what, I just I just want to see stuff get blown up in special effects. I just enjoyed the visuals. Yeah. I thought it I thought I thought it was pretty good and, and I did follow it. I had it on a on a I don't want to say it was a bootleg D V D but uh it was a DVD. It wasn't. No, it's if it was you lost it. Um, I, I you know what I, 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 I paid the, the, the I, in the voting accident, yes. Yeah. Um, I uh, no, I I acquired that movie one hundred percent illegally and, and everything else. But anyway, so I've I've Rebel. watched it several times and I really enjoyed it. It's been a long time since I watched it, so I couldn't really uh, talk too intelligently about it. But uh, I was able to follow it quite a bit. From the director of two good Batman movies comes a film that will obliterate your eardrums with deafening horde noises. When Dream Thief Dominic Cobb gets his toughest assignment yet, he'll assemble a team of experts, including this small boy, who can suddenly learn to make complex dream mazes after doodling, and a sidekick whose only job is to explain the plot. In a dream, you can cheat architecture into impossible shapes. Five minutes in the real world gives you an hour in the dream. In the dream state, your conscious defenses are lower. Can't wake up from within the dream unless you die. Raw, infinite subconscious. Nothing is down there. Except for whatever might have been left behind by anyone sharing the dream who's been trapped there before. I was not. Mm. But I didn't put forth a great effort because that dude was in it. That guy. What's that guy's <laughs> name? What's that guy? Hey, by the way, Ty, punching Nazis. When are we going to do that show? But actually, I don't want to. <laughs> I, I want to do two shows. There's two different shows I want to do. One on, a, on, on open action. I just want that to be you, me, and Bodie to, to have that discussion. But but okay. uh, yeah. but then the other one is uh, I want to have this previous. I want to have you and James on that one. Oh, and, okay, sounds good. Then, wow, we're gonna we're gonna iron out the the logical consistencies or inconsistencies. We still have to get we, we still <laughs> have to get either, yeah. We still have to get James and Cal. We we still have to get James and Cal together, and uh, there's a couple others. Oh, James, we, we, which James? A weeks. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mr. Naked. Mr. I just Naked. call him Mr. Naked. Naked Libertarian. It's Mr. Naked. Mr. Banana Pants uh, is also another name, Mr. Banana Pants. And I think he actually prefers Mr. Banana Pants. So. Don't you mean Banana Sock or Banana Hammock? I say Banana Pants because I think their kids are watching, so I kind of cover, literally cover. Well, you might as well say. give him a warning that it's a hammock for his penis. It is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. So you said the p word, penis. Yeah. Are you allowed to say the p word, penis? Penis. Are you allowed to say that on this? Oh, the live stream Look, has been doc, stopped. Doctor uh -oh. Johnny Fever lost his job on a big radio station because he said Booker. Wow. Oh wow, that's interesting. <laughs> Almost How do you lose a job for saying the word booger? I don't know. <laughs> you have to go back and watch the reruns of WKRP in Cincinnati. Hey, does anybody know the theme song? You sure you didn't say nigger? Whoa! <laughs> That's it, Bodie. Bodie, your political career is over. What? <laughs> no one's going to watch this show. He's asking. Right? <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, I you hope know, you that, don't own a football team because you're going to lose it now. There, there, <laughs> there, there was a station in Belfouche, North Dakota. Uh, one of the listeners called, or the listener called up and complained <laughs> that I had. The listener. Yeah. The listener. Well, I, the, the station probably has a lot of listeners. The show had, our show, The Freedom Fiends, has one listener up there, and now he's gone because he's mad. But anyway, uh, he called the radio station complaining and was going to call the cops and the FCC and anybody that would listen because I had 
use the, the phrase Republican cop p- 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 with a P suckers cop on the suckers. air. You said the word cop on the air? Suckers. Yeah, but cop. <laughs> oh, cop. cop suckers. So they didn't hear it. <laughs> yeah, but that was a near facsimile. So, and it was it was the Dakotas, and I think that's probably as close as they've ever come to hearing that act the actual phrase since 1972 when Deep Throat was released, and they accidentally <laughs> discovered it in a trash bin behind the uh, the Save Mart. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you gotta you gotta take that into consideration when you're talking. You to sound the like you were there, Paul. You, that's way too. I I, I I know too much. He's probably the one they called the station manager. <laughs> I, so anyway, uh, we we lost the station for a little while. It was it was it was supposed to be like maybe a month or so, and we'll see if uh, we get back on there. But wait, you oh. you actually? Oh, this happened recently. You nuked a station. Oh. Lusander Fiend nuked a station. Well, actually, the station nuked me. That's mm. semantics. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that sounds a lot like yeah. someone who ran a poetry magazine into the ground. 